is Roberti, and welcome <clears throat> to Let's Talk Tail Waggers. Um, I'm doing two shows today. Here, this one and this one, and now we're going to talk about the love for for dogs and animals. Uh, remember, BPTV is all volunteers, and you are more than welcome to come up and do a show, learn how to do cameras, or just come and watch. It, it it's uh, I'm going to be 26 years doing this on July the 4th, my first show aired. And I can't believe it's been 26 years. And it's been happy, and uh, you meet so many wonderful people. So if you have any time that you want to come up and share with us, uh, just come on up to BP at the station. We're by the police station, and come on in, and, and we'll welcome you. So now I'm going to say hello <laughs> again <laughs> to my guest. He brought us a puppy. <laughs> oh. big, big puppy. Yeah, yeah, I love it. I just do. He just lost his Spike, and I know that anybody that watches my show remembers Spike. And he was the best. He, he could do anything and everything. And you miss them. I miss him a lot. Uh, he spent a lot of time with me. We traveled. He was always there. Yeah. I can't, I can't imagine. I can't ima I mean, I've lost them. I can't imagine. But with you, he was like your other arm. He was, and it, it hurt so much. I mean, I, you know, you, it's hard to get, explain. <laughs> yeah. It's, it's. He's one of the family. Yeah. He's always been one of the family. Everything, everything we did was with him. Yeah, and we were talking that they become a part of you. They you know, do. and uh, that's why I think this show is important. That if anybody doesn't understand or says, "Oh, it's just dog." I just go wild, you know. They're not a dog. Uh -uh. <laughs> if you spend, if you spend time with that dog, that dog understands you. And Spike understood me. I didn't have to tell him to move when I walked. He mm -hmm. knew what to do. Or I stepped over him. He didn't stand up and hurt me. How he, many years? How old was he? He was over ten. He oh. was a little bit. Well, over he had 10 a good years. life then for a big dog. He had a very good life. Yeah. Yeah. He was never put in a crate, never anything. He was just well-mannered. He uh, looked out for me. Uh, he was always there. <laughs> oh, I can still see his face. He <laughs> was so dear, really. He, he was a special guy. He, so now what are we doing with this young lady down here? Well, we're training this young lady. She's a Belgian Melanois. They're wonderful. She'll be about 60 pounds. They're about very active. They're, they need a lot of space, a lot. They have a lot of energy. They can run forever. So I've been training her to have manners. Um, and it's a slow process because it's, I started very early with her. Mm -hmm. So uh, <clears throat> she's been doing it. But at home, that ball is important because I throw that ball a hundred times every day, I get up in the morning at four o'clock, four thirty. We're outside in the morning. I throw that ball, throw that ball. She runs uh, maybe twenty times. I take her in. I get up, have coffee, eat breakfast, uh, take a shower, and we're back out again till she gets that energy out of her system. You know that that's a good point. <clears throat> Excuse my voice. I have allergies, and it's terrible. Uh, people don't realize that dogs have a lot of energy. And when they put them in a crate, and I'm not being mad at you for that, but when they come out of the crate, you have to take them outside and, you know, run them, on, run with them. Uh, that's a very, very good point, uh, uh, and especially with her being a puppy. It's it's a great point. Uh, it, there's a... there's. There's a secondary benefit to, I mean, you're training your dog. This dog, this particular dog is very protective of his, of her family. Mm. So uh, I know when someone's even near me, 
I, when I travel, I know what's going on. She pays attention to everything, he's, even as a puppy. Amazing. But there is, like, I was going to say there's a secondary benefit. Uh, last year, I weighed uh, 234 pounds. My blood pressure was high. Uh, since training her, I weigh 209 pounds. <laughs> My blood pressure is normal. Everything is normal. Uh, and I, I mean, it's going out every day training this dog, running with this dog. Yeah, yeah. People, if you have, I haven't had a dog since, oh, in about 11 or 12 years since my one passed away, and I just couldn't walk him anymore, you know, and that was right. So I love everybody's, you know, puppies and their dogs. I'd love to have one, and if I pass away, I don't have anybody to leave it to. So, you know, I don't. I don't want to be selfish and, and have one. But with you, you have the stamina to put up with her as a puppy. Well, I've been training dogs for 27 years. Oh. So after I lost Spike, mm. I thought, okay, I wasn't looking for a Belgian Melanois. But I saw one and fell in love with this little puppy. When I got her out to the training field for the first time, I said to myself, what did I do? <laughs> I'm 75 years old. What happened? Am I crazy? Aww. But in in the, I have aches like everybody else, but uh, those aches go away too. Training this dog, any okay. dog, the, you become close to the dog, you get to understand. Mm -hmm. And I mean, it's hard to get up at four o'clock in the morning. Four thirty, it's chilly <laughs> and dark, and yeah. here I am. So. Uh, my neighbors haven't complained yet. Well, the time that you're putting into now, and that's what I tried to explain to people, the time you put into your puppy now, you will have for years and years of love and, and partnership and because they want to do what you want them to do. They just, you know, they just don't want to flop around or whatever. They want you to teach them. And people think, some people think that's mean, and it's not. A dog wants to be a part of you, and if you don't show him, you know, step by step by step, they'll never learn. They'll never learn. But once they do, <clears throat> and a command, I think the first command, like they learn sit, uh, that opens communication. Absolutely. You know. Every dog, every breed has a personality, and they all want to do something. There's no dog that just wants to lay there and do nothing. Mm -hmm. Every dog wants to be something, and they want to be your partner, mm -hmm. one way or another. That's why they're a dog. And But uh, Spike was big, so he did it in big ways. <laughs> and she's petite, and she's going to be 60 pounds. And she, you know. But they want you to tell them what to do and it's not being mean believe me it's not it's not being mean it's a partnership once your your puppy learns that it's a partnership mm -hmm. you know it's easy yeah. they they want to learn they'll be there uh teach me something different <laughs> here we go <coughs> your you your soul is like my soul they will, and then they'll always be there for you. You know, that's the marvel of a dog. I, I just, I don't know. <clears throat> God made them special for people. And when I see somebody uh, walking them, and <clears throat> like now, <clears throat> with me being a school guard, I see people walking their dogs early in the morning, and they don't have water with them. You know, it, it, you have to have water when it's hot. For a dog, and I just I keep it in my back seat, and I'll reach back and you know, say, "Excuse me, you know, would you like some water for your dog?" <laughs> they look at me like I'm nuts, but it's water, water, water in the summertime. Water's important, very yeah. important. But you know, I, I had her in Texas. It gets very hot, as you just said. Before I walk her, 
I put my hand on that on the on the ground. I want to see how hot that ground is mm-hmm. on on uh, hard uh, hard road. That that ground gets really hot, and the grass gets hot too. You just can't take your dog out and say, "I'm going to play in the middle of the day." You got to think this is your dog. Your dog's paws. You don't want it burnt or hot mm-hmm. or or. And they'll do anything for you. They'll do anything. Mm-hmm. Walking hot road. That's what I tell people. Don't if you can't take your socks off and walk on that hot road, then don't make a dog do it. And it, well, their paws their paws don't protect them. You know that's just a platform for them to walk on, but it doesn't protect them from heat and cold. No, their paws are sensitive. They can be hurt. They can be cut and mm-hmm. burned. Mm-hmm. So even the grass can burn them. They, the grass on a hot day can get very hot for them. But it's up to us, the, 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 their partner, the people partner, to know, hey, you can't do this. you got to look out for your, your, your best puppy, friend. your best friend, and your best friend will look out for you. Yeah, it's true. And uh, there's so many things I try to tell people when, they, when they're, when they're going to get a puppy that it's work. You know, it's just not, oh, boy, we got a puppy. Let's throw him down a cellar, close the door, and let's go over grandma's. You know, it's not that. When you bring a dog home, even if you get one from the Humane Society, an adult, you have to bring it into your heart and bring it into your family so it learns, you know, what you need. And, and it'll do it. They'll give it back to you a thousand times over. More than a thousand times. But there, there's another issue. A lot of people, they, they want to buy a dog. They'll go to a movie. They'll see a dog. There's a, there's a movie at the dog, and it, 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 the star is a Belgian Melanois. Some people may go out and buy that Belgian Melanois without thinking. Mm-hmm. There's, they're high-energy dogs. It's not for everybody. That person that wants to have another dog or a puppy, they have to think how what what is that puppy going to be in your life if you have to work you need a dog with a little less energy doesn't mean they have no energy but less energy yes and that's how you approach your dog i i knew that uh this dog was high energy i would have been irresponsible if i would have had this dog and said now you're a living room dog uh. Well, that's breeds, and <clears throat> people have to learn to read about the breed of dog that you want. And it goes, same thing goes with a mixed breed. You know, if they're part beagle and part this, they're going to be hunters. Absolutely. So you have to, in your head, say, what, if that's good, say in your head, what kind of dog do I want? And, and make them part of your family because that's what they are they want to be there they every breed mixed breeds they they want to be part of your family more than some pure breeds they've been some of them you might uh go and find they're in a, in a kennel somewhere you're giving them a home they understand that mm, and they, they understand do. your love for them and they'll, they will give it back oh they do i think shelter dogs when you bring them home realize that unless they've been wounded mentally you know uh, and, and it's not their fault uh been abused by men or whatever you know or kids beat on them or something but most of them that you bring home from a shelter know you know that you saved my life i love you even even those that have been abused it takes a lot of work patience and patience to undo the damage that may have happened mm-hmm. to those dogs mm-hmm. and you have to have patience to see them through to the other side yeah you, oh, you have to yeah yeah i now dark colored dogs like spike he would absorb heat because he was black now this little girl, she she's like a, a, a neutral color, so she won't be sucking up the heat. She'll suck it up, but not as bad as Spike did. So people that have black dogs, please wait until in the evening or very early in the morning to walk them. You have you have to think 
for your puppy because your puppy wants to please you and it'll go out until they fall down <laughs> yeah. and they can get heat stroke they can they, the sun can hurt them as they would hurt us yeah because they're not <clears> just <throat> a dog and that's what people think it's just a dog this particular breed her fur is very coarse and thick so the rain does not affect her at all uh. so i understand that that she can she's going to play out in the rain but still the heat you have to watch the middle of the day i'll take her out throw yeah. the ball once or twice yeah you're back in yeah you have heat is their enemy you know it's very bad yeah you have to do that's what <clears throat> this show is about is the sun, summer and uh taking care of them and realizing that you have to watch them in the summertime because when they start panting that's you know a sign they've had enough take them in you know because they're pers they they perspire through their tongue and that's that that water that you mentioned is really important sometimes it's hard to carry water with you and you have so many pockets you have water for yourself but you have to water that dog first and find a way to get the water in get a, a container that you can it doesn't have to be a beautiful container and and some dogs they learn to drink right out of the bottle yeah <laughs> so it's how you're how you have water for your dog that's important but you have to work to have make sure your dog has plenty because that you can damage yeah, they your dehydrate dog. In, yeah. in, in 12 hours and then you're in trouble how did you know spike it was time for him to leave you uh, he had a, an infection in his leg and i had been to the veterinarian down there and up here several times they tried medicine that would uh reduce the infection it didn't work then he because of his front leg being uh injured or infected he started to, that he couldn't walk his back legs started to give up oh, he was trying to to yeah. make up for it i helped him out with a towel i carried him with a towel around oh. him, under him and lifted him uh and he was suffering and no matter what we did with the veterinarian no matter what the veterinarian tried it had no effect oh. it, it, it for some reason uh and I, he was older he was yeah. older, and I didn't want him to go through any more pain. Oh, I just can't believe that he's gone. <laughs> he was a very special uh, dog. Yeah. Uh, not because he's my dog, but what he did, who he did uh, with. He was a dog that could have been dangerous. I could take him anywhere, and he was kind. Kind. He was. He true. The, the look that he would give you just melts your heart. Yeah. And that look at the last second when they put him down was very tough. Uh, was it forgiving? Mine were. It was forgiving, but it was tough. And then I had to decide. I didn't want to just leave him down there. So I couldn't keep him. I couldn't put him in a freezer. So <laughs> no. I had him cremated. And Aww. it was uh, a, 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 an expense, a good expense, but I thought he deserved all that. Yeah, he did. And they put him in a container that's beautiful, and I have him on the TV. <laughs> I, and many times I I'll you. walk by and I'll say, uh, Molly isn't going to be you. Oh, how sweet. So, yeah. See? Anybody out there that doesn't really, really understand that a, your dog is you, and you just have to, I don't know, I can't even, I've never been able to find the words, but they do, they just love you, they honor you, they respect you, they, they're everything, you know, wrapped up in, in uh, pretty colors. <laughs> everything. <laughs> Yeah, and they look at you. Oh my God, they can give you a look that'll knock your socks off, and you'll be getting them because she's a little girl. 
Yeah, see, see and little girl, uh huh. Aunt Susie knows little girls. <laughs> when I'm ready to go to bed, uh, she she knows it too. She jumps in the bed with me. Uh-huh. She'll she'll be kissing me all over. And then uh-huh. she knows it's time. She gets off the bed. Uh, we have an open crate for her. She walks into her yeah. crate, and it's time for her to go to bed. Aww. Not a word has to be said. Now, using a choke chain is good, right, for training them? In some cases, yeah, yes. Yeah, because a friend of mine just got <clears throat> with a, a, a dog from the uh, Humane Society, and she's seven months old, and she's going to be big, you know. So I told her, I said, get a choke chain. Oh, well, I, don't know. I said, you have to have some control. You know, that's not being mean. These chains, the, er, there are lots of chains out there. The better chains are made not to really hurt your dog, and you can adjust them so that that doesn't happen. When you use that chain, this is a prong collar, there is a ring around there that won't let it close all the way. Oh, so okay. you can adjust it by the links, so that it, it, so that the dog the way you're supposed to do it is so that the dog just feels mm-hmm. and th- nothing else cord. happens to your dog. She has a cord again. And nothing else happens to your dog. <laughs> Was she doing it again? Yeah. <laughs> She's a little girl, I'm telling you. I never got girls. Uh, I, I had many dogs, but I never got a girl. I always had boys because, for some reason, I am a girl. So, <laughs> well, <laughs> some, lots of luck, Dad. <laughs> some people use electric too to ch- train your dog. Oh. Now, there's good and bad. I use electric for one thing. I don't want my dog going near the road, into the road. So now. S- it's a one time you stay away from that road and then put that away. Some people abuse it by thinking I can train my dog. You never can train your dog with electric. Mm-mm. Some people think you can, but you can't. What about the fences? Some dogs are good for the fences and some dogs they're not gonna pay attention to the fence even if they're electrocuted. Oh my God. This dog would go through the fence, so it's useless. Because she wants to be with you. They they have their their their, uh, their their work ethic. They are work dogs, working dogs, mm-hmm. and the police use them. The military use them. That's their main job. They do the same as a German Shepherd, but they are lighter. Uh, so soldiers will actually put them on their shoulders and carry them. Get on a helicopter with them on their shoulders. Wow. Parachute with them on their shoulders walk through whatever it is with them on their shoulders. Yeah. Uh, they were, each <clears throat> each breed was made for a certain thing, right? Yes, absolutely. And that's the beauty of a, of a dog. Now mixed breeds, I always had mixed breeds, so they did everything. But like with her, she is a, a protector and she will protect you, protect your family no matter what. She was created to protect sheep. And she doesn't oh. know the difference between sheep, sheep and, human. and humans. <laughs> so her, she looks at it. Uh, I have to protect my family, and she does. Even as a puppy, she does. It's it, well, it's amazing because when our camera guy went over there to put your microphone on, and she was no, 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 it's my dad. She looks out for me that way. Sit down. There you go. I could just sit and watch her. That's the problem. I could just sit and watch her. Don't, don't do this. Oh, she's going to go, hi, Dad. <laughs> they <She'll> are <laughs> so smart, but it's amazing to watch how they develop as a puppy to as they get older. And the more you love them up. Yeah, and then you forget. Yeah. You know, you forget the nights. <clears throat> you were up all night, <clears throat> you know, because it was playing. Oh, that used to just get, you know, they'd come get in your face at 2 o'clock in the morning and uh, play, time to play. <laughs> Yesterday, we have an open crate. Yesterday, 3.30 in the morning, there's a thump in bed. <laughs> it's the baby. She came in. Usually yeah. she doesn't. That was the first time, but that's okay. I got up. 
got up a half hour early and yeah we did our thing because right? they 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 crack me up they uh when when they're babies they're total when you get a puppy you better be prepared you have to think about it for particularly new owners you have to think about it there's a cost mm -hmm. today if you if you own a dog you got to take it to the vet you got to mm -hmm. get a license for it you got to do things and it's thousands of dollars today yeah it is when i was a kid you know the vet was just a vet they always you know just a vet they, and they weren't they were magnificent but he knew if my, my dad had four kids and he'd bring the dog down and he'd say oh don't worry about it i'll catch you next time because he knew my dad didn't have any money you know, we lived on a farm, and, and he was a good man. Today, it's thousands of dollars today. It, Very expensive. That's another thing I want to impress upon people. It's a responsibility. The food is a responsibility, and it's expensive, too. Yeah. Uh, a bag of food, $50, $60 for a bag of food. Some dogs, Spike went through a bag of food quickly. <laughs> <laughs> I can so imagine. You, it's <laughs> yeah. If you go to a, in a to a hotel, they charge you extra for a dog, mm -hmm. it's particularly a big dog. So Aww. it's a it's, it's a responsibility. In that's what <clears throat> I want the young ones to know that. And when you get your dog, you never think in your mind that he's going to get hurt. He's going to get sick. You know, this is going to have that. You don't think that. You're just in love. But if he does get hurt somehow and you take it to the vets, it's a $1,000. And, hey, they don't even, even give it a thought. And that's another reason I don't have any pets because I, I couldn't afford it. It's very expensive. Oh, I bet you taking care of Spike was very, very expensive. <laughs> Thousands of dollars, <laughs> thousands of dollars. And you paid it gladly. Yeah, I would. Spike was part of the family. I'd yeah, Spike, he, oh, I just loved him so, I really did. But I learned to love this little girl. Yeah, I, I will also tell your viewers, uh, if they have any questions, if I can help them, I don't charge anything. I'm retired, so, but I'm glad to help or answer questions or come out and show somebody how to uh, ha get their dog started. Oh, that's beautiful. I mean, I, I'd rather do that uh, than to see someone start on their on their puppy and it's all wrong. Yeah, God. Or they have the wrong one or whatever, whatever. I mean, if, if they are interested, they can contact you. You can contact me and I'll be glad to go out or talk to them over the phone or yeah it is. make and help them no. that's a good see a giver is a giver is a giver is a giver is a giver <laughs> well to, to, to make it work it has to you know you have to have it straight the first time so it's time to say goodbye and i hate it but don't forget your humane societies uh they need towels uh blankets uh Anything that you wouldn't give to the homeless, please send it to your Humane Society. They're having baby kittens now and puppies, and you're, they just need, they need a lot of things. I always, I very seldom ever say money because they need towels and sheets and blankets uh, as much as they need money. But I love you all. I hope you learned something today about of your dog. Uh, they are you, and believe me, you, you're good and they're the best. I love you and thank you for everything.